Yo, Elliot, how do I try to stand out from the crowd at my current nine to five? It's a very good question. And depending on your nine to five, my advice is to be the best one at your nine to five, right? Nothing stands out more than mastery. Nothing stands out more than resourcefulness. Nothing stands out more than creativity. In fact, when I was active at the gym and I was working with employees, one of the things that I would tell my guys is that, look, I'm actually looking for two main things for people, from people. I'm looking for someone who's creative, right? Someone that doesn't need someone to tell them what to do all the time and they're willing to take responsibility and do something that they see needs to be done, right? maybe running it by someone, your supervisor or whatnot, but always looking for creative ways to contribute to the work that you're doing. That's number one. Uh, and then number two, as I referred to before, you want to exhibit mastery. You want to show that you're willing, or, or at least on the road to mastery. You want to show that you're doing the absolute best that you can. And there is there's no there's no slacking on that you want to be the best and you could tell you know how you could tell someone that wants to be the best you're saying you want to stand out and this is how people are going to stand uh, notice you right sweep the corners one of my a guy I worked for many many years ago said that to me he said elliot if you really and i don't know if he said stand out from the crowd or whatever it is i think he was just you know, giving me some advice on excelling in life and he said you know Sweep the corners, sweep the corners. That means go to and do the work that no one else is doing, that no one else sees, and do it without needing praise. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Do it because the corners need to be swept. And you know what some people do, right? This is what the majority of people do. They sweep the dirt in the corner, right? Well, you asked me to clean this room. Well, from, as far as the eye can see, it's clean. But over in the corner, I just pushed all the dirt over there. I think that there is grace that comes to those who put effort, put love, put their energy behind doing a great job no matter what they do. Have you ever heard that you bring yourself, you bring yourself to everything that you do. The way you do one thing is the way you're going to do everything. I think when you have a job, in particular if you're working for an employee, that is, that's a, for lack of better terms, it's a safe space where you can innovate and you can, you can, you can demonstrate and you can be mentored and you can grow. But only, only if you're willing to put in the extra work, only if you're willing to go above and beyond, only if you're willing to exhibit mastery, uh, have creative courage, and ask questions. I think that's another thing too. Ask questions. Um, I, I can see a lot of people thinking, oh, Elliot, I'm going to do that, but no one's going to notice. Oh, Elliot, I'm going to put in extra effort and no one's even going to notice. Well, I'm not saying that you need to go and point out, hey, look what I did. But by asking questions, your supervisors will notice you, right? Like say, say for example, I'm just using this example again. Hey, I noticed that, you know, when the, when the room is swept, the corners have generally been left undone. There's dirt, there's dirt, there's dirt still in the corner. Um, is that okay? Or, or would it be better if we made sure that that dirt was gone? Right. So before you do it, you just ask a question. Right. One of the things that you learn when you're a new guy in a workplace is you don't come in, start running rough shot, trying to show off. Right. You learn that. I've spoken about this in terms of the story of Benjamin Franklin that was related in the book uh, Mastery by Robert Greene. He says, you don't want to come in there and run rough shot over people and try to be a, an upstart. Right. Hey, look at me. You want to be humble. Right. You want to do your best. You want to work hard, but you also want to have a healthy level of humility. So by asking questions, not pointing out other people's faults. Right. Saying, hey, that guy didn't sweep the corner. Right. Just say, hey, I noticed that the corners haven't been swept. Is this something would you appreciate? Do you do you want me to make sure the corners are swept? I just want to I'm checking the protocol here, guys. I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything that you expect me to do. I don't think it's very hard. I don't think it's very difficult uh, generally to make this happen. 
But I also notice that there's a there's a there's a sense of entitlement. There's a sense of anti-authority uh, sentiment that pervades most of our most men in our culture. I know I've been there. I know I've been there. I've had to grow up out of that. That's why I couldn't work for anybody. I can work for anybody because I have had an entitled attitude. Uh, I was a, I thought I was smarter than everybody and was kind of a show off and a know it all. And I know now as an adult that, that that shit don't fly. That don't work. It don't work that way, bro. So having a healthy sense of pride in the work you do, I think is important, right? Be proud that you get to work at this company. Be proud of the work that your company is doing. If you're working for a company that's doing good work in the world, right? Or even just neutral work in the world and not something negative, <laughs> right? Um, have pride in the work that you do and be humble and go the extra mile, but bro, and I think you'll be okay. Hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting, done.